at it again, FSD 12.5.1. Today we're driving into something incredibly exciting. It's Tesla's FSD, it just keeps getting better and better. I can't wait to show with you how far it's come since the days of autopilot, almost a decade ago. When FSD first came out, I remember it was around 2014. Back then, it was like mind blowing to think a car could drive itself through the highway and through the streets. The fact that Tesla announced something, and you can see the progression of almost 10 year growth of, of when this FSD semi autonomous it, it's it's it was a lot better than just adaptive cruise control and, and it's coming out to these vehicles so you come up you know fast forward now we're just light years ahead fsd is working somewhat like a human being it does the stop and goes it creeps up to the light or the stop sign it's smooth it knows how to go around cars that are slow in the right hand lane or the left hand lane whatever lane it may be tesla just it, it's figuring it out with all this d data that they've been collecting throughout the years it's just getting better and better so i'm really impressed by this and in this drive that we're taking we started the Tesla from the quiet suburbs to, to the city streets and then on the highways and then back to the city with lights and turns and stop signs or whatever you name it. And, and, and the cool part is, here's a kicker, even though we plan on going to our hotel room initially, my wife and I, um, when we were driving, she was like, hey, you know what? Check in still like another 35, 45 minutes or so. Why don't we stop at this restaurant? And the cool part is mid, mid route, while in route, she changed the directions and Tesla's FSD just seamlessly followed the trip. It didn't stop. It didn't ask us to pull over or to re-engage or anything. It just kept it going. And I think that was uh, phenomenal to see. I, I never seen anything like that. And it did an amazing job at it. So seeing it adapt seamlessly was really cool. It didn't skip a beat. And there's simply nothing like this on the market right now today from any other car manufacturer that I've seen. You know, not in Lucid, not in Rivian. They do have the features. They do have the adaptive cruise control and semi, I guess you could call it, you know, self-driving features. But at the level that Tesla has, I mean, I feel like Tesla is becoming how Apple is and anything after that is going to be on the Android realm and then give it five years or so, probably three because technology is so advancing now. Give it three years and it's just going to be a medium of Apple, Apple and Android. You know, that, those are your two options. Those are the best options. And if you go anything outside of that, it's going to be a little weird, kind of like no one goes to BlackBerry anymore. In fact, BlackBerry uses Android software now. So that's how I feel like Tesla is going to be. It's going to be the signature mark, it's going to be the staple for FSD. You know, you're going to start seeing government vehicles use it and delivery places and whatever it may be, even maybe the Amazon's UPSs of the world. And and I just see it really taking over in that sense because it does so well and because it has such a long history of data and collecting data and performing the AI growth and learning machines that are integrated in these cars. These cars are like supercomputers and Tesla is, is just collecting all that for, you know, the past almost 10 years now. So I'm excited to see that. So even though in our impromptu stop at a restaurant, updating these directions on the fly, it kept it going, no interruptions. It was pretty phenomenal. It wasn't just like gimmicky and, and it told us to do something or pull over or whatever, reset the computer. It just flowed with it. So highway driving is a dream. It's a little, it could be a little nerve wracking when you're, you know, driving through the city and maybe construction sites gets a little crazy because of the cones and the lanes are all changed and nothing's really set in stone. Like you may have a lane go across the board, but you have to stay in this other lane. So so that could trip you out a little bit, but as a reminder, Tesla's neural, neural network or whatever it's called, it has like millions of, of real miles of data and everything that it's, it's constantly making decisions and it's doing it with confidence. It's not just about getting from point A to point B now. It's actually doing it in an efficient way, safely, and it's making it feel more human-like. It's doing decisions that us as drivers that we would make. We'd say, hey, you know what? Let that person go in front. Or, you know, this guy's lagging it. Let me go around him safely and look over my shoulder. And Tesla does that, obviously, with his cameras. And it's just phenomenal as as the way it's doing these transitions seamlessly throughout the drive. So once we're back in the city, Tesla doesn't make us doesn't break a sweat. It handles pedestrians, cyclists, motorcycles, whatever it may be in a city. It just does a transition effortlessly in all these environments. Um, you can even do windy roads, whether going uphill, downhill. It has the descent in the sense of the, the regenerative braking. And it just keeps they keep creating a system that's intuitive and incredibly reliable throughout this drive. The only thing that was popping up is it, it did. In fact, a few times would tell me to pay attention to the road because I kept looking at the screen, which I find funny because Tesla wants you to use the screen to change anything. You have to if you want to change the AC, if you want to change the song or whatever. You have to tap the screen or make any adjustments to your mirrors. You have to use that screen. So I find that a little odd, but that's the only time it told me to look. It just said pay attention. I didn't have to grab the wheel. I didn't have to do anything. In fact, I didn't really even use the, the blinker stocks. It did all the lane changing itself, including turning the blinkers on. So I think 
that was pretty phenomenal in that sense. So we're just we're getting closer to the reality that we might think robo taxis might even be the norm soon maybe by next year or the end of the year who knows with every update that fsd and tesla bring it's just one step closer to full autonomous driving which is the future in which we want I feel like it's going to make our roads safer and it's going to be you know less drunk driving less people falling asleep heart attacks on the road whatever it may be and driving at night and in the rain or heavy traffic FSD truly handles it all. The system just keeps getting better and better with every update. Now, it, it's not perfect. It does make mistakes from time to time. It is a little off. Sometimes it'll do things that you wouldn't do as a driver. Sometimes a little hesitant on certain lane changes or, or a light just turn yellow. Sometimes it'll stop abruptly or slowly. Those things I feel like are going to get improved, but from where it's begun around 2014 till now, it's a significant upgrade, and I'm really impressed by that. The ability to take us from the suburbs to the city and everything between, it's just clear that Tesla is leading the way, they're leading the charge in autonomous driving. So let me know what you think. If you have FSD 12.5.1 or if you're still waiting for the other updates, have you used it? Do you like it?